you know, if somebody's talking to you, um, they want, they could say, please acknowledge, right? Uh, and that basically means, can you please reply to make, uh, to let me understand that you, you, you've heard me and you've understood my message, right? A firm is like that aviation expression to say yes. You could also say affirmative, like in the video that we just watched. Okay, so a firm or affirmative. Uh, and then you have right now break uh, if you hear a radio transmission and it's on loop okay so it's going continuously 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 and there are multiple parts to that mesh okay you could say the word break as it would indicate the separation between portions of a message okay so this is when there isn't really a clear distinction between the other texts so you could use the word break uh, really emphasize that this is the end of one portion of a particular message. You have cleared, okay? Uh, usually this word is given, you could hear this word when you're talking to air traffic controllers and they're giving you um, authorization to do something. They'll say cleared for takeoff, right? Cleared to land, cleared to taxi. Uh, so basically they're giving you um, authorization to proceed under specified conditions. Then you have confirm. Okay, which it could be a question, right? Uh, confirm that you um, heard me, right? Or confirm runway two two is in use, for example. Okay. Uh, correction, as Molly mentioned, it's used when you make an error uh, in your transmission, and you use the word correction to correct, followed by the correct word that you want uh, or that you wanted to say. Uh, so disregard is if you want if you tell someone to disregard if you want your message to be disregarded I think it's, it's pretty straightforward right go ahead is he's trying to talk to you um, somebody's calling you up you have the choice to either say go ahead or stand by go ahead means uh, you can go with your message stand by means wait how do you read uh, we're testing the radios uh, when we're doing signal checks for the radios to see how well you can hear me. I know it's a bit ironic. It's asking how do you read when really we're listening, um, but uh, that's <laughs> that's the standards that were set forth by aviation. So how do you read is asking how well can you hear me. I say again is an expression used that uh, to, to basically say that I'm going to repeat what I said. Emergency word that we use. Okay, uh, mayday was for the ones where you re require immediate assistance. Uh, where lives may be threatened. Pan Pan is uh, where you do not require immediate assistance. Lives on board the aircraft are not threatened, but you do have a problem which is uh, not so severe yet that pilots are usually very well trained to handle anyway. Okay. <clears throat> and then we have read back. So uh, that's uh, to repeat all our specific um, back to me as received. Um, it's more um, specific to instrument uh, flight rules, okay? When you need every detail of your flight to be back so that air traffic controller knows exactly what you're up to and that you understand them. Roger means I've received your last transmission. Uh, say again, okay? So say again without the I for it, I say again. So say again on itself is basically like a command. You're asking somebody to repeat what they just said, right? So say again, um, and then they would repeat what they just said. That standby was the opposite to go ahead. As I mentioned earlier, it means uh, I must pause for a few seconds or minutes, and I will call you back when I'm ready. And lastly, we have will co, right? Which means uh, uh, your instructions have been received, 